I'll give you the example of uh, Northern Europe versus uh, countries in the Middle East or uh, South Asia. In Northern Europe, we see that there are artists who take, for instance, nude photographs and that those artists and their work are viewed as important cultural contributions. It's an important part of being a member of this society, a member of this community. So telling people in those societies, this artist who's very important to you, we see as a pornographer, uh, would not be a, a, a good thing to do and it's not really how we feel. So what we've done with our policies is we've said nudity and pornography are covered and some nudity that is artistic uh, and or innocent may well be blocked because we want to make sure that our reviewers are able to, if you tell 10 different people in 10 different countries, you distinguish whether or not this is sexual and whether this is pornography or whether this is artistic nudity, you are not going to get the same answer from all those 10 people. So we craft our policies to keep in mind what does it look like to the Northern Europeans and then what does it look like if we have, and this happens, uh, this definitely happens, we will get reports from people in um, countries, let's say, in the Middle East or in South Asia or even in, in um, some other countries, they'll say, these people are wearing bikinis and they're in sexually suggestive poses. Why would you allow this on your site? And it's frankly very hard to craft a set of policies that takes into account that sort of broad cultural spectrum. So the keys for us are, let's be very transparent. Um, we, we say in our policies we don't allow nudity. Frankly, the policy is more blunt than we would like it to be. We say we do allow breastfeeding. Well, you know, what does that mean? And so our internal implementation guidelines for what constitutes breastfeeding is something that is very, very important. And when it comes to that, we're transparent, but we're also listening. Um, anytime that somebody reports something on Facebook, and every piece of content on the site can be reported, you're, you're given access to what we call a dashboard. And much in the way that you can track a package that you might ship through the mail, you can track what happens to your report. And so you can see what, how did we action this, and then you can also provide information to Facebook. If you're the person who has your content removed, you can appeal to Facebook and you can type in there, here's how I feel about your policy. And we're listening to that feedback and trying to make sure that, that the policy lines we're drawing are accounting for this broad spectrum of opinions.